Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, I'm bringing you this video tutorial today to talk to you about video editing on your mobile device, um, be that a cell phone or an iPad or other various devices that you might have. Um, the application that I want to talk to you about specifically today is called InShot and it is available on the Android and Apple app stores. So either navigating to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store will allow you to download this application. Um, that's the screen I'm on right now. So the logo will look like this. So just type in InShot. You should be able to navigate straight to it and download it. It is a relatively small file and it is a completely free application so you do not have to pay to use it. Once you have that downloaded, just hit open and it will bring you to this home screen where you can decide what type of media you're going to be editing with. For the sake of today's video, I'm editing a video. So I'm going to be clicking on this button right here that says video to create a new one. Now I already do have a draft in this application, so that's why it's bringing up this screen. For you, it shouldn't bring this up. It should bring this up. Now at this point, it may also ask you for permission to access the media library on your phone. Uh, simply say yes or confirm and that'll pull up all the uh, relevant media on your phone that you can use in this application. So because I selected a video that I want to edit, it's bringing up all the eligible videos on my camera roll that I can use to edit. I do have a sample one in here that I'm going to be editing with, and that is going to be this one right here. So I'm going to click on that and it'll gray out just like that. And then I'm taking my cursor down here to the check mark and clicking on that. Now we are in our main editing window. There are a lot of tools here and a lot of buttons to look at. I want you to ignore everything for the time being because I'm just going to focus on two tools. That will be the only two that you have to focus on for your basic video editing. So down here all the way at the bottom where the cursor is, this is called your timeline. As you can see, there is a straight line cursor right here and your video is splayed out here to the right. If you click and drag down here, either to the left or the right, you'll go backwards or forwards in your video, and you can navigate the timeline like that. So let's say, for example sake, this video had a small two second portion at the beginning, or there was an odd sound, or I just didn't start in time, or there was something that I just wanted to cut off at the beginning. I would come down here again, I would click and hold, and I would drag it just about to where I wanted it. Let's say that's where I wanted my video to start. So then after I get up to where I want it to start, I'm going to come up here to the toolbar, and I'm going to scroll over until I find this split tool right here, and I'm going to click it. Once clicked, you can see it has changed down here on your timeline. So now that that has changed, I can click on this portion. And hit delete. And that has eliminated the clips that I want to delete. So that one second period at the end is not there anymore. And it will start exactly where I want it to start. And that's ideal. So that is the split tool. If you had something at the end you wanted to cut off, you would do the same thing. So I'm just clicking and holding down here to about where I want it to stop. And then I'm clicking this split tool again, which trims off that portion. As you can see down here, it does say trim. Just ignore that for now. That just denotes that you have divided your video into two clips. Select the clip you want to delete, and then just hit this delete button right here. And then I'm clicking and dragging to go back to the beginning. And it's as easy as that. Now the second tool I want to tell you about is the reason I chose this application to show you today. So I'm going to go to this main toolbar again, and I'm going to scroll over to the left to the canvas option. And I'm going to click that, and it's going to pull up these options for me. Now this is strictly for social media, and this is a really, really cool option that you usually don't get in free applications. And this is the one that makes this my favorite free application to edit mobile videos on the fly. 
you can automatically adjust the aspect ratios for social media on here. For Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, they all have a specific aspect ratio that they operate in. Um, and I'm sure you've seen videos that play on, on any of those that might not look quite right on your phone or your iPad. That's what aspect ratio does for you. So Instagram are the first two, and thankfully, if you do Instagram, either the four to five or one to one aspect ratio, that will also work across Facebook and Twitter, which is very helpful. As you go over here, the third one, and the only other one that I want you to pay attention to is this one right here. This is for YouTube, for those of you that are using YouTube. This gives you a 16 by nine widescreen format, which is very helpful. The rest of these over here, for most of you, you're just going to ignore them. The others of you that are moving into different social media platforms like TikTok and other things like that, you will recognize those logos and you can use those accordingly. But for the vast majority of you, of you just ignore that for now. So once I've got that aspect ratio, I'm going up here to the check mark and I'm clicking that. And now I'm back. So at this point, I have a completed video. I am done. I don't need to do anything else with it. I'm happy with it. I can come down here and hit this play button. and it'll play through my video. If I have any sound, it'll also play through at this time as well. All the way through to the end. At this point, I'm happy with it, I'm good to go. So I'm gonna take my cursor up here to the share button that some of you, um, a majority of you will recognize. If you don't, this is the standard share button, so just hit that button. The only option you're gonna have here is to hit save, so do that. And it will export your video out relatively quickly. And at this time, I do want to bring up that this is a free application, so be prepared for ads, just like in most free applications nowadays. Um, here in this screen, usually you'll have to sit through a 30 second ad after you export your video. But to be honest, for a free application, that is more than adequate for me. Um, a 30 second ad to do that many features for your video, that's all right in my book. So once you've sat through those ads, it'll bring you back to this screen. And even more helpful, they have a toolbar up here that will allow you to export your video and post straight to, to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, anything that you want to post to, you can do straight from the toolbar. But at this time, you'll know that it says saved right here. It will also be on your camera roll, so you can send that out accordingly to wherever or whomever you would like to send that to. So that is the InShot application. It's a free download for Apple or Android and is a very helpful application to do your video editing. Um, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, my name is Brian. You can reach me at Brian L. That's B-R-I-A-N-L at KansasCityHomes.com and I would be more than happy to answer any questions. Um, we will be doing perhaps a few more videos on how to edit mobile videos and good salient techniques for doing that. So stay tuned for those. But for now, get out there, get shooting, and let's enjoy some videos.